let's play this in full first here. And I checked out your email. You talked about the facial setup being a bit of a problem. I think it could still work. It is a bit of a bummer. Uh, so the question is, maybe you can do a rough pass on the faces to see what we have. Because if you can't do, you know, you can't do super subtle stuff, but if you can do anything with the brows, maybe some compression, <laughs> something in there with the face, I think that would still help. Because then otherwise, what's the point of the close-up, right? So if that doesn't work, then you might just have to do this whole thing with this type of lens. So you are this, you know, that beginning, but framed like that. And if you feel like, well, nah, you don't want to do that, then the shot would start maybe there. I mean, that could also be a thing. The crazy thing too is seeing this reference. I think it's just less rotated here. I think this feels a bit broken where we're bringing that foot a bit more towards us. But I think generally it's working towards the right direction. I think what's happening now, we're definitely getting a bit more of a feeling of the mechanics and the weight and the timing of it. But what happens is that it gets it just gets a bit even in timing. And it's a tricky thing because there's a lot of work behind this. But if you look at the steps there, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. I mean, like when you time it out like that, everything happens within the same beats. I think now that we're this so fleshed out, I think you might have to consider grabbing some, some elements in your timeline and then speeding things up a bit where you can have a turn a bit and then some faster steps, maybe some slower steps as it's looking around, faster again to turn around, maybe here, hold a bit for a look and then pop a bit faster through there. So you might have to start tweaking some of that general motion there. This is the general timing to give it a bit more rhythm. That's the only thing. So I think this is all progressing um, really nicely. You know, you get still some smoothing out to do and then compression and, and influence on the wrist and stuff like that. So it doesn't feel so locked and IK and the rest is moving. But that to me would be secondary to the main note of we have to look at the general rhythm of the shot and kind of break away from the reference. I mean, again, if you look at the reference comparison at the top, it's already different towards the end, but I think now we can push this even further. Um, but that is up, uh, totally up to you, right? So you have, to get it, you have to decide, do you want to do this at the beginning with the face? Do you want to do some minimal work, whatever you can do with that rig to then get into this? Or you just want to start already that far zoomed out, but keep that action? Do you want to start here and just keep going with that? Because it's all work that you have to do. <laughs> this is all very easy for me to talk about, but you're the one doing all the hard work. So you have to make that decision there uh, and then see how far you want to go in tweaking the overall rhythm and the, and the beats there. Because I'm not really worried about the animation, not just you know a bit more of the, the pacing and entertainment value of, of watching something like this. So one thing you can do potentially, and we talked about adding I me mean, more foreground elements just to make this more presentable as a shot with some interest there. Um, but it seems like, to me like that drop feels better. The balance feels better. We talked, I think at one point I talked about having something here that it could hold on to, but I think it works pretty well. There's ever, ever so slight feeling of off balance there. You might have to put that root over a bit more or take that step a bit sooner. It's a little bit off balance there. But the rest works in terms of the mechanics and where it's going there. You know, there's some jitter in here, looseness in here with no contact, like losing that contact a bit too soon. To me, but this is just kind of clean up. Boom. Because that feels good here. Boom. Maybe even a bit more wobble on the head potentially for an impact there. Maybe that gets a bit too too easily from this arm pose into this, where it becomes oh the, the, the thinker. <laughs> ah. So maybe it's a bit more texture in this where he goes up, maybe it holds a bit on the arm and then does this. But again, that to me is all secondary to 
the general beats and speeding things up here and there for the flow. Uh, and that's that. I'll leave it at that. You let me know. Just let's email back and forth and have a little plan on this. And then you also emailed me sound clips, which I'm going to turn this critique off. I'm going to listen to these separately and let you know in the email. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.